Hello everyone, and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend. Are you ready to get started with our Good Morning song? Let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings. And now let's fly that airplane to one side, fly your airplane to the other side, come back to the middle like the letter T, and now let's make our arms into a big circle out in front like this. Raise that circle up, up, up over our heads and give a stretch from one side. Stretch over to the other side. One last stretch up at the top and bring that circle back down. If you know the words to this song, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you all had a wonderful day so far. Let's get started with circle time. Now, the first thing that we do is begin with the date. And when we say the date, we start off at the top with the month. The month is right up here. And recently, we started a brand new month. Do you know what the new month is? April, that's right. The month is April and today is April 5th. So let's move the chip over from the number two. That was the last time that we met to the number three, four, and we'll put it on the number five because today is April 5th. And right up here we have the year. Do you know what the year is? 2021 or 2021. Both ways are correct when saying the year. Okay, friends, let's say the date one more time all together. Are you ready? Today is April 5th, 2021. Now, can I see your counting fingers like this? And we'll warm them up and give them a little stretch. We are going to count all of the days that we've had so far in the month of April. So get those counting fingers ready and let's start up at the number one. Two, three, four, five. We have had five days so far in the month of April. Now I need you to add two more fingers to those five fingers like this. We need to have seven fingers for the, for the next song because we are going to sing the days of the week. And because we have seven days in our week, we hold up seven fingers like this. You can sing along with me if you know the words. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel back down, down to the bottom of the chart, right down here. Do you remember what the day was yesterday? Here's your clue. Yesterday was su Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday, the last day of the weekend. So that means that today is M Monday. Today is Monday the first day of the weekday. And if today is Monday, that means that tomorrow will be t Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. But let's go back to today and let's sing today is Monday together. It goes like this. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday all day long. Friends, let's travel back up, up to the top of the chart. Right up here, we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring. That's right, friends. It's springtime. And guess what I noticed outside of my house this morning? A new sign of spring. That was that the daffodil blossoms were opening up like this. 
The buds had opened and the blossoms were bright yellow daffodils. Okay friends, let's move down to the bottom of the chart because that means that it's time to sing the weather song together. It goes like this. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Friends, do you see my picture right down here? This is a picture of what I see when I look outside of my window. So it's a picture of the sun and the clouds. When I look outside of my window, it's mostly sunny, but there are a couple of puffy white cumulus clouds floating in the sky. And my temperature chart is on dark blue. That's what it was earlier this morning. It was very cold at my house, but as the day has gone on, I'm going to put it right between light blue and orange. It's still a little bit cool, but not quite warm. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Look out your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now, let's move on to the letter of the week. Because it's Monday, we have a brand new letter to talk about. This letter says, wuh, wuh. Can you make that sound with me? Wuh, wuh. And do you know what letter this is called? W. This is a lowercase w. And w says, wuh, wuh. Now it's time for the letter box. But the thing that I have today is too big to fit inside of the box. So I have it right down here on the ground in front of me. What I have today starts with the letter W. Here's your first clue. This is something that you fill up with water. This is used to water plants. Do you know what it's called? A watering can. A watering can starts with the letter W. Now right inside here, this is where the water goes. You hold the handle like this, and there's little holes right on this end, so when you tilt it up like this, the water pours out from the little holes and waters the plants. Watering can starts with the letter W. This is how you write a lowercase W. One more time. We also have a new number to talk about this week. This is another double digit number. This is the number 18. But just like with all double digit numbers, when you, have, when you write the number 18, you have to write two numbers. First, you write this number right here. Can you show me with your fingers what number this is? One, that's right. And after you write the number one, you have to write this number. I like to call this number the snowman number. Can you show me with your fingers what number this is? Eight, that's right. When you write the number 18, you write the numbers one, eight. Now, let's count 18 tally marks together. And remember friends, tally marks are just lines that I'm going to draw on the bottom of the chalkboard so we can count together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15 goes across, 16, 17, and one more is 18. 18 tally marks. I'm going to open up the box and see what we have inside to count to today. Let's take a look. I have a bunch of these small sticks. 
and these small sticks or branches are called twigs. And as I count them, I'm going to line them up just like I made the tally marks. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, seventeen, and one more makes eighteen. Eighteen twigs. Because today is Monday, we learn a brand new letter and a brand new number of the week. And that also means that we have a brand new sign of the week to learn. This week, I'm going to teach you how to say baby in sign language. Remember friends, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking out loud. This week, we are going to learn how to say baby. Watch carefully. So when you say baby in sign language, you take both of your arms like this and you pretend that you're holding a baby in your arms. You can rock the baby gently like this. Would you like to try? One more time together. Baby. As we continue our unit on springtime, this week's focus will be on baby animals. The spring is a time for new growth and new beginnings. Plants begin to grow again, animals awaken after hibernating, and give birth to their babies. Springtime can be noticed by using many of our senses. You can smell the dirt thawing under the ice and snow. You can feel the rain on your skin. You can see the colorful flowers blooming. You can taste the spring vegetables, and you can hear the birds singing. One of the first signs of spring that I always notice is the sound of the birds after a long, quiet winter. What do you think the birds are doing in the springtime? Why do they sound so busy? Well, the mother birds are looking for material to build a nest and lay their eggs. And what do you think the mother birds use to build a nest? Well, different birds use different materials in their nests. Birds use twigs, dried leaves and grass, and sometimes even mud or pebbles to build their nests. And some birds will then line the inside of the nest with moss, feathers, fur, or even hair. And once the nest is built, the mother bird will then lay the eggs and keep them warm until they hatch. Now, most baby birds are ready to leave the nest in a few weeks after they hatch, once they've grown feathers and know how to fly. But it depends on the type of bird. Are you ready to see your work for the day? Let's go. For today's work, you will need to venture outside and find some organic material to use. So I found some dried leaves, some twigs, and some dried grass. You are going to build a bird's nest today. And remember friends, a bird's nest is a home for baby birds. So you want to make sure that the nest that you build is comfy and cozy and soft. I'm going to begin by breaking my twigs into smaller pieces. Now usually when a bird builds a nest, the nest will be round. So I'm going to use my twigs and try to arrange them in a circle. But it's completely up to you, friends. I'm going to start off with the twigs at the bottom like this and try to just form a round circle. So now that I have my twigs as the base, I'm going to take my leaves, break them into smaller pieces, and put the leaves down. Now birds will find almost anything that they can use to build a nest. Mud, pebbles, twigs and leaves, bits of fur or hair that they find. And then some birds, once they have the structure down, will line the inside with soft material because that's where the eggs will hatch. 
So if you have some feathers or some dried grass, you can line your nest with the soft material like this. Let's see, what does it feel like? It's soft, it's fluffy, perfect for a mama bird to lay her eggs. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Remember, when you build a nest, you can get creative and use whatever you find, just like a bird would do. Before we go, I have a song to share with you, and it goes like this. First, we're going to sit on the ground and curl your body, pretending like you're inside of an egg. Here's the song. There was a baby birdie hatching from its shell. Out comes its head, and then comes its neck. Its wings he gives a stretch. Then he flies, and he flies, and he flies. Now what do you think of that? Flap, 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 flap. Thanks for learning with me today, everyone. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features from your child. We have one last song to sing before we go. Can everybody wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.